I have a question. What was it like growing up as one of the Brady Bunch? I mean, that's amazing. You know, it's funny. You, a you ask that question, it's like it's an easy question to answer, but it's really not because I don't know how growing up would have been without it. I can, I can take a stab at it. Your dad was an actor? My dad was an actor, but the issue is really not about what it was like then. What, it ha what has it been like since then? Okay. Continuing to grow up, and this Brady thing continues in parallel along with you. And as I get older and it stays the same, but not a bad gig though. It's not at all. I mean, it took me, I mean, when I was a young man and you know, thinking I needed to branch out from the Brady thing, I had to, it took me a while to realize, you know, this Brady thing isn't gonna die. It's no. not going away. And it's always in the room before I get there. Right. But what it engendered was sort of this familiarity. I was everyone's brother. Right. It wasn't as low, you know, I played an ax murderer, you know, and was hated by everyone. It was love, you know, and so, I really have embraced that, and it's um, it, it's a privilege to have had that role, and that it continues to live almost um, 50 years later. Do you stay in touch with the rest of the family? We'll say nobody in uh, in my world I've known longer, other really? than my own brothers and sisters. That's so great. yes, we do. Uh, uh, next week, uh, Barry and I might be getting together in uh, in uh, in Las Vegas for a thing, and uh, uh, just recently saw Mike and Susan on another thing. And Fun. I'm working right now with the associate producer who taught me pork chops and apple oh, really? sauce. Sherwood Schwartz's son, Lloyd Schwartz, wrote a play called Dinner at Five, which uh, opened recently, and, and it's a big old family. It's a Brady way of life. It is a very Brady way.